We've taken back control of our laws and our destiny. We Some are calling it Merry Brexmas, as the UK and EU finally struck a Brexit trade agreement on Thursday. Talks on a deal went down to the wire, with the UK due to leave the single market and customs union at the end of the month. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the face of the pro-Brexit campaign, urged Britain to move on from the divisions caused by the 2016 referendum. Uh, this afternoon uh, that we have completed the biggest trade deal yet, a deal that will protect jobs across this country, a deal that will allow goods, UK goods and components to be sold uh, without tariffs and without quotas uh, in the EU market. European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen described the milestone as bittersweet. At the end of a successful negotiations journey, I normally feel joy. But today, I only feel quite satisfaction and, frankly speaking, relief. I know this is a difficult day for some. And to our friends in the United Kingdom, I want to say parting is such sweet sorrow. Without the collective might of the EU, the UK will stand largely alone and much more reliant on the US when negotiating with China, Russia and India. It will have more autonomy but be poorer, at least in the short term. Many aspects of Britain's future relationship with the EU remain to be hammered out, possibly over years. The deal will avert the prospect of both sides imposing widespread import taxes come January 1st. The deal also covers issues such as security, transport and energy. But even with a deal, businesses will face new red tape and new costs. Most economists, however, say the alternative of a no-deal exit looked much worse.